Hello drinks fans, my name is Stuart Borman and each week I'm going to review different alcohol free drinks be they spirits, wines, beers, ciders, pre-mixed drinks or adult soft drinks. This week it's the turn of Gordon's alcohol free which is newly released so without further ado I'm going to jump straight into it. I have tasted this before uh, it's uh, got a very pronounced juniper flavour and actually of all the sort of gin alternatives on the market that I've tasted this is the most gin like that I've tried yet. It's also got a kind of kind of a earthy um, tree bark kind of note to it and a sort of citrus lemon peel but the main aromas here for me are juniper licorice and kind of anise and yeah like other typical gin um, botanicals like coriander seed yeah um, so I'm tasting it in the ISO standard tasting glass, which is used for wines and spirits. And when we taste spirits normally, we taste them neat first, usually with a dash of water, but because this is an alcohol free spirit, um, I don't really need to add water. Um, what adding water does, it kind of liberates aromas from an alcohol containing spirit and makes makes the flavours easy to uh, taste. But I don't need to do that for this drink. Um, yeah, it's quite sweet. And uh, one thing, one great thing about this is it's got zero grams of sugar or carbohydrates in it. Um, it's sweet because they've added some sweeteners to it. So Gordon's recommend three parts tonic to one part gin. And yeah, it works well. I mean, it, I think it's it's not a bad alcohol-free gin alternative. And you can still taste that juniper and a, a bit less of that licorice um, and some of the citrus peel there, lemon peel. Uh, they recommend garnishing this with a slice of lime. And I think it's very approachable. I think there's nothing... In this drink really which is going to offend anyone anyone's not going to like i think it's very commercial i think they've done a really good job of this and, and they will have some great success commercially with it uh, it's not as kind of complex as it as it might be as some of the you know more expensive gins or alcohol free gins like seed lip or it doesn't quite have the finesse and balance of, of, of those drinks. So for me, this is good. Uh, 7.5 points out of 10, that gets for me. And yeah, if you wanna see the nutritional information, I'll put that in the comment on, in the description below. So if you like this video, please remember to like, share, write a comment, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And I'll see you at the next video.